Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to do a comparison video between the just launched SDXL 1.0 model from Stability AI, and this is a free open source model, versus Midjourney. And the way to do this, I believe, to do it the most fairly, is to first off, we're going to create a random prompt generator, which I'll show you how to do in ChatGPT. And then once that's done, we're going to run the prompts in both SDXL and in Midjourney, we're going to compare the images and then you can see what the free version versus the paid version and you'll see how good the free stuff is getting, not going to lie. Uh, SDXL is very, very strong and uh, you'll see just how far open source is getting. So anyways, let's get into this. Let's create the random prompt generator first. All right, so the first step is we're in GPT-4. This works just as fine in GPT-3.5. I just have four, so if I'm paying for it, why not use it? Here is the prompt. I want you to act as a random prompt generator for an AI image generator. For your prompts, please use, please use different styles, techniques, and levels of complexity. Please create five random prompts. And I'm doing this randomly because that way I can't cherry pick what works good in one and not good in the other. So as random as possible, I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna let this run when it comes back. I'll start inputting them into the two different systems and then we'll get going. All right, welcome back. So here are the five prompts we got and they're kind of cool. A surreal, a surreal landscape at twilight where the sky is composed of a vibrant nebula and the trees are made of swirling galaxies. Wow, cool. An 18th century bustling market scene with colorful stalls selling exotic fruits, various spices and intricate silk fabrics. This is as random as it gets. Fantastic. They got a children's book illustration style, a cyborg cheetah. Okay, we're getting into some stuff now. So let me show you how to input them into SDXL for free. And then I'll show you how to do it in mid-journey. Here we go. All right, so we'll start with Stable Diffusion XL because that just launched. To do that, go to clipdrop.co forward slash Stable Diffusion. As you'll see here, I'm logged in. Of course, I will put a link in the description below. Now let's start entering in the different prompts. We're going to head back into ChatGPT. I'm going to grab the first one. I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. Oops, that's not the one. We're going to copy and paste it here. And then I'm going to hit generate. And now when I click that, you'll see that you can subscribe for faster generation but you still get it, it just takes a few seconds longer. And then while that loads, I'm gonna go into my Discord, into my mid-journey bot, forward slash imagine, copying and pasting it in directly, the same. I'll come back when they're both done, we'll do a quick comparison. All right, welcome back. So here is the first prompt run. Now let's just take a look at the four images it gave us with SDXL. This one looks pretty darn good. Looks good, nice swirling nebula. The trees, the nice, it's a little bit, uh, a little uh, less contrasty than the mid-journey one, which I'm going to show you right now. Let's take a look. Here are the four mid-journey candidates. This has a little bit more of a painterly feel, but overall, they're both very, very good. I mean, obviously, some would work better in different situations, but I would give it a tie, although I'm kind of leaning towards mid-journey with the uh, brighter, higher contrast. But again, you guys decide, let's run the next prompt. All right, let's run the next prompt. You'll notice that this time I clicked on the style button and I wanna remind you that in Stable Diffusion here, at least on ClipDrop, you can try different styles. So there's anime, photographic, digital art, comic book. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go with the default, default style, but you can go ahead and change that up if you see fit. For example, fantasy art would have been pretty good for the last one. Anyways, let's go. An 18th century bustling market scene with colorful stalls selling exotic fruits, various spices, and intricate fabrics or something like this. I'm a cat. I'm going to hit skip. You'll notice there's only 120 images waiting to be processed. So right now, in fact, um, <laughs> clip drop and SDXL is running faster than my mid journey, which I paid for. I'm going to go on the record and say that. The mid journey is taking longer. All right, let's go back. Eight images waiting to be processed. Wow, that was pretty quick. We've even got our first couple. Okay, here we go. All right, so I see sort of like a 17th century uh, painting, if you ask me. Let's take a look here. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Okay. All right, a little bit of Tintoretto, or if uh, I guess if one of the uh, early Renaissance painters were, were making them, they're all very similar in style and composition, if I'm being blunt here. Let's take a look over here at the Mid Journey version. In fact, we're at 46%. So I'm going to have to come back when it's done and show you what they came up with. All right, here we go. So here's what we got in Discord. And this, I mean, it has more contrast. It's a little bit more vibrance. And, you know, I guess it's a little bit more, I mean, stylistically, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say more accurate, but there's less, it's, it's less abstract. But again, they're both very, very good. I'm going to go back to clip, 
Uh, I'm going to go back to clip drop here, and you'll notice that this is the same stuff here, but I ran this with a different filter here, and this is fantastic. Let me show you what I did here. So I'm going to click on back, and this is the same exact same prompt, but instead of just clicking it as is, I selected photographic. Now you could put the same, you could type in forward slash, you know, or you can add dash dash photographic or whatever, or just put in photographic into mid journey, pardon me. But again, SDXL, even though it doesn't always get it as far maybe as you'd like it for compared to mid journey, you can make a few changes like this one here and you can get some pretty damn good results. Let's click on the third one. All right, so for the third one, I'm gonna actually start in uh, Mid Journey because Mid Journey is taking longer than SDXL, the free version on Clip Drop. So here we go, a hyper-realistic portrait of a cyborg cheetah sprinting through a futuristic cityscape bathed in neon lights. How about that? That is cool. All right, let's go back to Google Chrome here and I'm gonna take that exact same prompt. I'm gonna put it in here. And then for stylistic, I'm going to leave it at no style but always remember you can go ahead and adjust it. Also, you can adjust the aspect ratio. I have a 169 aspect ratio in mid journey. So let's run the same aspect ratio here in uh, stable in SDXL, why not? It seems fair. Okay, it'll take a few seconds for this to render. I'll come back when it's done. All right, welcome back. So look at that. Now this is awesome. Like this is like some cyberpunk, super cool cheetah. I love these, Im yeah, these are fantastic images. Uh, the background, you'll notice, has a little bit of a, a blur to it, so there's a depth of field applied here, and, I mean, these are just wonderful. Look at that. Let's go take a look at Discord and see what we got in mid-journey. All right, these are awesome, too. Complete, I mean, different to some degree, but awesome. They've. I mean, okay, guys, you can't go wrong with either one of them. I'm going to run the last two, put them in at the end of the video, but you get the gist of it. Both of them are awesome. A little bit in different style. Clip drop and using SDXL 1.0 is free. This mid journey is obviously a paid for version. Um, yeah, you guys decide. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.